Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jamestown. This is a uh, historically accurate uh, adventure game about the uh, about the uh, early American colonies. Let's just go ahead and uh, start a new game here. And uh, I'm playing with a controller because you always play point and click adventure games with a controller, right? Yep. And uh, I love this game, I love the music, um, I love everything about it, and uh, yeah, so let's get started here. Let's go ahead and let the cutscene run. I must admit, nothing could have prepared my old eyes for what lies before them. The new world is truly a wonder to behold. Sadly, I have little time to enjoy the view. Though I eluded my captors at the Tower of London long enough to make passage to Jamestown Colony, I doubt very much that they have given up the chase. I have pinned my hopes for survival on the mysterious lost colony of Roanoke. If I can produce the solution to such an enduring and tragic mystery, I am convinced that my heroism would earn amnesty for my crimes. For now, I make the battlefields of the eastern frontier. I have it on good authority that John Smith himself is to be found there, defending our settlements from the allied Spanish Martian forces. I pray that he will have some idea of how an entire colony of 117 souls could disappear and leave no trace to mark its passing. The conveyance hums at my side. I fear violence awaits for me on the other, on the road ahead. Wait, did he just say Martians? What? Chapter 1, War Upon the East Frontier. Oh. This is not what I expected. Who? What? Who came up with this idea? What? This is, this is not the historically accurate you know, point-and-click adventure game I expected it to be. This is a... This is a shooter with amazing music and absolutely beautiful mechanics. One of my favorites, I must say. So in reality, this is Jamestown. It takes place on the planet of Mars which is the New World. The year is still 1619. The, uh, there's tensions, if not full-out war, between the, uh, between, between the British and the, and the, uh, Spanish. They both want control of this area. And, uh, the Spanish have allied themselves with the Martians. As you can see, like, most of the Martians are, uh, these weird, potential march monster things. But, uh, the, the Spanish have, uh, outfitted them with, uh, modern weapons, so they shoot at us now. Oops. Thanks, guys on the ground. Basically, I'm flying my ship, and I died. But, I'm flying my ship. This gun is my normal gun. This is my special gun. And this is a Vaunt. A Vaunt gives you a big shield, but at what it for an instant, but really what it does is double your score. So you get a big multiplier, and this game really is more of a score attack game than anything else. Sure you want to get to the end of the levels, and at the end of the game that's hard to do. But uh, the Vaunt is used mostly for uh, extra points, and you still have to pick up these, uh, you pick up the the nuts and the gears in order to do that. As you can see on the top left, my meter's running out because there's nothing to shoot at, sync up. And now I just ran out of meter. And hopefully I'll get some again soon. Okay, good. I'm gonna shoot these, um... Yes, there we go. Let's shoot, shoot those monsters. Uh, also, at the last moment, if you still have Vaunt, you can push it again for a smaller shield that lasts not nearly as long. At uh, basically just a way to save your butt at the very end. Um, this this ship is all right. I mean, it's not my favorite really, just because the the special gun it it stops at whatever's in front of it, like this. There's another one that's it's a little bit similar, but travels through things it's like a big bowling ball. And that's my favorite one really. But uh, plus, also, you go really slow when you're using the the gun with this, the special gun. And uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm really bad. 
but uh, I still love this game. There we go, beat the first level. And uh, as you can see up here, there's these stars. And as I said, it's a score attack game, so I'm trying to get all five stars, and I did it this time. Shame on me. But still, I love this game. Let's go ahead and watch the cutscene. Evening. As we drove back the last of the Allied Spanish Martian forces, we heard a distant battle cry through the smoke and dust behind us. Erupting dramatically from the clouds was none other than John Smith, his handsome figure posed dramatically at the prow of his ship. This dashing interest came a moment too late to render us any actual assistance, but the man's eagerness and thirst for adventure would do much to forgive his lacking punctuality. Punctuality, excuse me. Having turned the tides of his frontier campaign against the enemy, his spirits were high, and he offered us lodging for the night. Over a bonfire feast of roast pork and potatoes, Smith drew out a crude map of a place he and his men call the Dark Sector. Shrouded within foreboding clouds and temptuous cyclones, he believes this godforsaken place may hold the answers I seek. Of course, it will take us directly through territory controlled by the Spanish. Their conquistador will want vengeance after their losses here today. May some light find us in these dark and forgotten corners of the wilderness. We leave it dark. 